Hello. Are you there? Is the screen visible to you? Hello. Okay. So, can you see the screen now? Is the screen visible to you? Yeah. Okay. So, on the last uh, session, we uh, saw some Python code, right? Uh, we saw a few the audio. Basically, we uh, see how we have seen like how we can convert. Your categorical data, basically the uh, characters, right, or the textual data into numerical data, right, on the demo class, and how with the, how using the Python, basically how we use this Python programming language to accomplish that, basically, right. So in today's video, we will be uh, in today's lecture, we will be starting with this uh, data science basics concept. I will be uh, making you familiar with uh, what is data, okay and uh, what is data science in overall and in further upcoming lectures we will also see what is data visualization and data science and AI right and then also we will be seeing like what are the career paths in your data science what jobs you can do uh, as a uh, as in the field of this data science okay like the uh, and the job roles and what are their responsibilities right okay so, uh, any doubt regarding the previous class? Any question? No. Any question that you have gone through the by your own through internet, right? No. Okay. So let's start this uh, lecture, right? So first of all, we will be starting with the introduction to data, right? What is the data? And then we will be seeing what is data science. And after that comes data visualization and data science and AI. And that's the end, right? Once you the finish this on then you know what basically we are talking about right and we will be using this python programming for giving instructions right to our machine so that it may understand what we want to say okay so basically a python is just a tool you can use other programming languages also but the reason behind using python programming language is this python programming language have intensive libraries right yeah what I mean with that is uh, libraries. It have already a bunch of code already written. Pre-written code that you don't have to write again and again. Just you can uh, call some function. Like function is the name right, of the whole this code, right? Just you have to call the name of this function. Suppose name. And you can use this name and wherever you will be using this name, right? This whole code will be used again. So the whole concept behind this library is to make your code reusable so that you can reuse it, right? So, okay. Yeah. So basically, uh, we will study what is data, okay? And then we will see some real world examples of data. What is data, right? So what do you understand with data? Let me ask you a question, but uh, right? Can you tell me what you understand with the data, right? It's like, um, like information or like things that a computer has. Right. So basically your uh, raw facts and figure, you basically say to it, right? Raw facts and figures, right? Like uh, also you may refer to it as a computer information, right? So basically everything that you see on internet today, like you see some text, right? A title of a video or a comment on any video right so that's all uh, that all is your textual data okay and everything you see as image like a thumbnail of a video okay thumbnail of youtube video right or any uh, image of dog or cat right so this is this everything is your image data okay and your sound the sound can also be Represented, represented in numbers, right? So everything that can be represented in numbers is your data. Like you can represent text into data, right? As we have seen on the earlier video, on the earlier lecture. You can represent image on the numbers, right? If you don't know, I will be explaining you how it is done. Like your image is made up of your pixels, right? And it can be represented in your matrix, right? In your maths class, you will be having this concept of matrices, right? 
I think an uh, if you would be having so you can represent this image into this matrix like the inter intersection of like rows and columns like on the one cell you will be having some value and ranging from 0 to 256 right these are your colors like 0 will be your some color like black color okay and 256 will be your some other color like a red color or some some color right so wherever you, this value will be present so that that value will basically represent that color right here i'm using one so it, it will specify that this pixel is basically your white color and this is how your image is formed it is con it is made up of like millions of pixels and that makes up your image the number of uh, pixels or this matrices right the number of this numbers will be higher the quality of your image will be higher right does it make sense yes. yeah okay so similarly for sound also you can imp uh, uh, represent this on numbers like you have a uh, like you can uh, represent this sound in the form of waves right and the frequencies and all these things like if you have done editing like you have you would have seen like pitches right some higher pitch some low pitch and these everything this data can be represented in the form of numbers as well so this is also your data right and uh, especially it is the basic that uh, people think of while we talk about data like excel sheet excel sheet is basically your spreadsheet data right this is clear straightforward okay and the numbers are your data like your age what is your age suppose 21 so this is your number right this is your data like your salary 23 uh, k right so this is your uh, number right so this is your data and also video can be also video will be also your a part of data right and these all are uh, can be referred to as your complete set of data right and we can use this data to perform analysis and take some insights out of this data and make some informed decisions right so that a company or any organization may take benefit from it excuse okay suppose say youtube right <coughs> youtube take all this data and uh, help uh, helps to suggest some better videos to us right it will take uh, some textual uh, textual data like title of the video it will take the, take the video complete video like what is what is in the video right are there pictures of a uh, dog cat or there are humans like so it will take this all data like what is the number like how many views are then in that video right and how many duration till the people are watching that video and it will help us to take the informed decisions right so that will basically help us to predict that which video will the user will like to watch next okay i will be taking this example to make you understand better right does that make sense like till here like how these all are data okay yeah once you understand that all are the data now we can uh, jump into what are the types of data 